Hello, viewers. It is a very bright, beautiful, and sunny afternoon here in Nigeria. And I say good day to you from wherever you are watching us at this time. My name is Mike Adekuli. It is my great and utmost pleasure to welcome you to another wonderful and very special one indeed, very special edition of The Citizen here at Dove Television. And uh, we are very glad to have you around and we say thank you for being part of this today. It's going to be a lovely discussion here in the house and uh, this is reaching you live. Yes, I must let you know, you know, this program always comes to your view, uh, a pre-recorded program that we record and play later and all that. And I know many of you have been trying to reach us via text messages, calls, emails and all that. And once you call, we just tell you, oh, sorry, it's a, rep I mean, a, a recorded program. But this one today is happening live. So it's going to be very, very interactive. You can call in, you can send in SMS when that time comes to receive your feedbacks and comments as the case may be. So once in a while, we will be coming to your view like this to, you know, uh, make you get involved live on the program. And we are coming live to you today for a very major reason, and that is to bring to your view and your notice the very much awaited and very much anticipated program that is making waves, a program that is one in town. It has never happened before uh, in the history of uh, Christianity in a way, but at the redeemed Christian Church of God, we are pace setters. So we have started it to the glory of God and uh, God has been keeping us on it year after year. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the third edition of the Royal Fathers Convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God for the year 2024. You know, a forum where kings, rulers, uh, you know, uh, chiefs across lands, across uh, 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 nations will gather to fellowship together, to, to serve God, to worship God, praying to God together. You know, thank God for the redeemed Christian of God who had given this platform for all our kings and others, emirs, you know, to express themselves, you know, under God's grace. So we glorify the name of the Lord. And on this purpose, we are here today. And with me in the studio, uh, wonderful people of God. Yeah, they are people of God. Uh, let me start from my left-hand side, and that is Pastor Olushola Adeyeye, who is a member, you know, RCG Board of Trustees, and at the same time, National Coordinator for Royal Fathers Forum of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Please welcome with me, Pastor Ulushola Adeyeye. Good to have you, sir. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. Thank I'm you, glad sir. to be here. Yes, sir. Thank you. And, uh, you know, your name speaks royalty. That's like great. my name, for example, Adekunle. Yeah. I'm from a royal family, too. <laughs> so I am, by his grace. Yeah, and no wonder <laughs> God has positioned you to be coordinating kings. We bless know. God. We, we bless thank God, God for God's grace. Yeah. Thank you so much, and well done. Thank well you done. so much, We sir. appreciate uh, all the works you've been doing to make sure that the kings come together under God's grace and anointing. To God be the glory, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. All right, next is uh, King himself. <laughs> you know, we, we can't talk about uh, the Yorubas, you know, respect to my elders, behind camera and in front of camera. You know, they say you don't shave someone's head in his absence. Yeah, yeah we can't be talking about kings and not have a king represented. Definitely none. But then today, I have the Olokene of Ojowo in Ijebu, Ijebu Igbo land of Ogun State. I'm talking about no other person than Pastor and Oba. Of course, Oba Pastor Abdul Rashid Abayomi Banjo, PhD. Good to have you, sir. Thank you. Have you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I don't you. know if my camera can permit me to prostrate because in Yoruba land, when you <laughs> greet a camera, you, you, you have prostrate. to prostrate. That's it's right. understandable <laughs> when the program. I, I might not be able to prostrate now, <laughs> but I'm <laughs> prostrating inside me. No problem. <laughs> Viewers, it's a pleasure <laughs> being here <laughs> on the father's yeah. business. Yes. Thank you, the moderator, for having me. Thank you so much. We appreciate you, Kabesi. Thank pleasure. you for coming. And uh, we appreciate the good people of uh, Ojowo land. 
you know, for releasing you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we pray that the peace of God be with them, uh, you know, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so like I said, we are here on the sole purpose of letting our viewers know that the others, the kings, emirs, they are having convention. And that is why we are here. But before we go deep into that, let me start from you, Kabisi. Okay. You know, tell us about Oba's, you know, rulership, king, I mean, kingship in Nigeria, in Nogu State, and in your land. How has it been? How easy? How challenging? Well, thank you, moderator. Kingship has always been challenging. But when it is premised on God, according to what Romans 13, verse 1 says, okay. that the power in heaven is of God, yes. the challenge will be melted. And of course you know that the responsibility of kings are basically to balance power, yes. to maintain law and order, enforce law, maintain peace, and you cannot do that as a king without the wisdom of God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the equally Bible says, in Proverbs 8, verse 15, that kings, mm. by me, yes. wisdom talking now, by me, kings reign. reign. Mm. So as a king, you cannot achieve those responsibilities. Yes. You, you cannot have a pass mark mm. if it is not premised on God yes. and you don't have his wisdom. Mm. And that is why it is very important for us to attend to father's business like this. Know mm. that when our father and the Lord comes up during the program, we will learn more. Mm. That, that, that's, mm. that's Thank true. you. I have so much to ask you, but yes. with time, I will just uh, make it very snappy. Uh, now, okay, to start with, your name suggests you are from a Muslim background. Yes. Abdul Rashid. Yes. And uh, I know it will be a long story to yes. not talk of your conversion and all that, but now you are a pastor. Yes. So how do you balance being a pastor and being a king? Well, um, I was a pastor. Okay. On the pulpit okay. before the kingship okay. happened. Okay. And I was nominated, I was crowned, and I'm still a pastor. Knowing full okay. well that the basis for my crowning is God. Yeah, so yeah. I must continue to do the father's business. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love you mentioning father's business. Of course, <laughs> it's, it's, it's father's business. Yes. All right. So now, um, so uh, Pastor Adia, let's attend to father's business now. Uh, we are talking about this. Uh, Royal Fathers Convention. This is the third edition. Yeah. How has it been so far from the first edition, 2022, 2023, and this one coming this year, 2024? So, so far, how has it been? The reception, the, the prospect, the challenges, and all that. I was there last year. It was massive. You know, the whole very mighty, one of the biggest hall at, in, here in the Redemption Camp, filled up with kings. How were you able to achieve that? Well, it has always been the grace of God, and we give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Uh, it's just God at work. It's not the doing of any man. That's just the honest truth. Yes. Because it amazes me at times when I see things happen. Mm. You know, when you see uh, kings coming in their numbers. Yes. In fact, this year is going to is even different mm. because of some other kings from other nations in Africa had indicated you know, without me even knowing them, wow. they reached out to us, that they have heard about what God is doing in Nigeria, and that they will want to be part of what God is doing here. And they had, even many of them had even registered, you know, I mean, to let you know that mm. they are coming from even beyond the coast of Nigeria. Mm. You know, it's been God reaching out to all these people. Yes. And I believe God ha has a purpose his name is going to be glorified. Amen. You know, Amen. that's just the honest truth. Mm. All right. Let, let me also engage you around kingship and politics in Nigeria. I know you don't do politics, but for the purpose of this program, let me put you a little into that corner. But then, you know, Daddy Gio, I've always been hearing from him and felt his passion for kings that they need to be respected, they need to be honored and all that. Now, what do you have to say as regarding the position of kings in Nigeria? Knowing fully well, I don't know whether the constitution has now been reviewed, but I, which I don't think so, as at last year, nothing of such has been done, that no significant power is backing the kings. In fact, Oni of Ife mentioned that uh, kings 
the chairman, local government chairman in Nigeria are more powerful. They have more power than kings. So what do you have to say to this? Hmm. Uh, it's a very serious matter, as a matter of fact. Hmm. I remember when I was young, I grew to know that Anoba, you know, became a premier yeah, okay. in this country, Nigeria. Yes. You know, there was uh, what we call a house of chiefs. Mm. The kings at the time of old, mm. you know, had prominent roles to play, and they did it beautifully well. Mm. How things had turned this, uh, this way is still amazing. Mm. But I'm believing God that there will be, you know, uh, a, a divine intervention. A, a bring back of because, good old days. Yes, mm. where you call head, you don't, you know, like Yoruba says, mm. you don't walk with your head mm. upside down. You mm. know, a head is the head. Yes. Well, you know, the, the kings are supposed to be our leaders. But it's like we are, I mean, things, I mean, uh, they have been turned around to become servants or so to say, mm. which I think is wrong. Mm. I believe the time is coming very, very soon mm. when by the grace of God, the yes. kings in our land mm. will not only be respected, but they will be honored. Mm. They will mm. set the pace for others to follow. Amen. Because these are people who had demonstrated, mm. you know, uh, divine wisdom, particularly in rulership, mm. you know, keeping people together from different walks of life. Yes keeping them and make them live together in, in peace mm. and harmony. Mm. It, it takes grace and wisdom of mm. God to do all that. Mm. These, these are so, I mean, some of the things mm. our kings have been doing long before now. Mm. How do you turn such people to become uh, me men? No, mm. I don't think it, mm. it is right. You, you I are, believe God is going to intervene. You are very correct, sir. And uh, when I saw this convention, in fact, I had a, a, a very strong passion within me that things are going to turn around by for the, for the kings. By you the know, grace of God. Them, you know, seeing them gather together under God's grace, under God's anointing, God is going to tie, you know, turn tide you know, in their favor. Be because then, if, if our governments are not playing politics unnecessarily, you know, let's talk about insecurity. I think the kings, they are even closer. They, they, are, they are kind of a set of governments closer to the grassroots, closer to the people, even more than, than the local government chairman or local council chairman. You know, they are supposed to be given more power to address insecurity. Uh, well, what do I know? But by the grace of God, uh, <laughs> Daddy, I have an ambition to becoming a governor of my state. Okay. <laughs> Probably when I become governor. Things will turn around. Amen. Or before then. <laughs> I, mean, I believe it will happen before then. Amen. Amen. Because, sir, uh, Addressing insecurity, kings can help us a whole great deal. Now, let me corroborate mm. just that. I remember hearing from our daddy in the Lord, yeah. our general vice by mm. the grace of God. He shared how at the time this uh, express road, particularly around Ogun, you know, yes. Axis, yes. you know, was, was more or less, uh, you know, the den of arm, oh, arm robbery yes. and that kind of thing. Mm. But... One of the, I mean, the governor at a particular time, one of the governors, one of the military governors, mm. came to her father to seek counsel of what to do, okay. you know, to minimize this arm robbery kind of thing. And daddy, you know, from, uh, by wisdom, counseled the governor to bring the others together. Because the others, they, I mean, they know who and who are in their, their different domain. towns, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, in their mm. domains. Yes and that they will be able to reach out to them. Mm. Not only that, they will even be able to identify them possibly. Mm. And the, the governor took that uh, uh, counsel and worked on it. Um, amazingly, you know, the trend of arm robbery, what, uh, I mean, reduced mm. dramatically. Mm. You know, if God will do that at mm. such a time, yes. you now imagine when the kings are literally in charge. In charge. You know, mm. because they know who are who are in their domains, mm. you know, the arm robbers are not witches, I mean, are not, uh, are they not, are are not spirits. spirits. Yes, they, they are human beings. They, they are human beings yes. living with the, mm. with the people. So the robbers, they have so much to do, and it will really help the nation, mm. I believe. And God is going to help us. Thank you so much. So you are in it. Yes. So how has it been relating with the government uh, and your people? 
also being their mouthpiece, you know, to the government. So how has it been? Well, um, it's particularly been challenging mm. because um, given the position of law now, yeah. the Obas must act in line with the law mm. by ensuring that whatever they see that is not in tandem with what the community wants. Okay. We don't unduly expose government. Mm -hmm. We either write or seek audience with them. Okay. And to the glory of God, our governor in Ogun State has been attentive. Okay. We listen to them, work on them, and of course we come back to people, explain to them, and to the glory of God, God has been helping us to maintain peace. Oh, glory be to God. That, that, that's, that's good. That's good. All right, so let's move more into the spiritual right now. Okay. So Obas... Kings, emirs, seeing them come to the knowledge of Christ. How has that? How did you see that? How do you receive that? You know, as 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 it been changing anything? Seeing kings, which I know was not like that before, but seeing kings come together, worship God, serve God in a very wonderful manner, not minding their position. So how do you receive that? Well, that has been most talked about and commendable. Because of us nowadays, some of us realize that there is no way you can rule without God peacefully. Yeah, you can't do it. Spiritually, palace means, palace is a place of power, of power. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know that all powers belong to God. Yes. So if you want to be within that power, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, which belongs to God, Definitely, you must take it upon yourself to reference the one who is the owner of power and authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is why some of us have taken it upon ourselves and the others are now, now well informed that well, there is absolutely nothing they can do. Some people well, still God. believe that it is very impossible to have a traditional ruler serving God wholeheartedly without the traditional uh, practices. Are you get what I'm trying to say right now? So uh, there was a time you gave uh, uh, a testimony. A testimony, yes. So uh, remind us that testimony for the benefit of those <laughs> that, that didn't hear that testimony. How, how and for, for some kings who still believe, well, I will come to church, I will serve God, but I will not leave the ancient landmark of the traditional practices and all that. Uh, well, mm. my testimony was such that, like I uh, explained, mm. I was called upon, it was the turn of our ruling house. Okay. And I'd been a banker all my life. They called on me that they wanted somebody educated, okay. refined, and reluctantly I joined. Hmm. Mm, well, you know, as a sitting pastor, they knew there are certain things I would not join them to do. Hmm. Mm, and when they realized that, they decided to work against me. And all I just do in my house with my family, is a father, if it is your, let your will be done. Let your will be done. And on a daily basis, the second part of the testimony is that our hallelujah is on the is on is on the basis of the day of the of the month. Wow. So in a day, we shout, uh, "Thank you, Jesus!" Two hundred, hundred in the morning, hundred at night. Wow. If seven hallelujah, our calculation is that if seven hallelujah could destroy. The one of Jericho. of Jericho. You can imagine if it is done <laughs> persistently. Hmm. So we started, and before you, we knew what was happening, the mighty ones who had been at the race of hmm. power, hmm. that they would tell you that by if they did not approve anything, nothing could happen. Wow. God started calling them one after the other hmm. to the extent that even the ones that were left had to say, you are serving a living God. They even told me, that by the time they finish dealing with you, you the God of Adeboy, I just, I just <laughs> laughed. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, they have come to terms mm. that there is a God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not only in redeemed Christian of, church of God, yeah. but the God of Adeboy that could do wonders. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. To the God of our forefathers, the God of <laughs> Adeboy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so Daddy, let's talk about Royal Fathers Convention. The one of this year, 2024 Royal Fathers Convention with the theme, the name above all names. What are the, what are your expectations concerning this program? How will it happen? When and where? Great. 
by the grace of God, the others will be coming together from all walks of life, like mm. I said earlier on. Yes. And I'm glad to announce to you that our daddy will be on ground mm. personally because he holds the others to a very high esteem. Yes. He doesn't joke with, their, with the others. He will be personally ministering to them by the grace of God. And uh, just like the Bible says that woe to the land when uh, their king is a child. Is a child. Mm -hmm. You know, enough is enough of uh, childhoodness in the, you know, in, 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 in the palaces. You know, it is the desire of our daddy in the Lord that the others should grow in grace. Mm -hmm. Not just coming to church, not just attending programs, but to grow in grace and become strong to the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's why he will be personally uh, 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 present, yes. you know, to minister so that uh, he, he desires mm. that these of us will grow spiritually mm. to be able to design and handle EUs spiritually. Because like uh, Kabe rightly said, it takes the grace of God to, uh, to rule over you know, people of different background mm. and still m move them forward. It takes the grace of God to do that. And that's why that Particularly, you can, just like you said, the T, the, the name, name that's above. above every other name. Because there is a name that is greater than every other name. Mm. There is a name that is alive forever. Mm. There is a name that cannot be likened to any other one. Yes. There is a name that Satan cannot even handle. Mm. There is a name that no witch or wizard, no occultic man can handle. They can't even wait for it. Mm. That name is full of power and glory and honor. Yes. That name will be, you know, made available, mm. you know, to everyone that attends. You will recall that in the Bible, when God revealed his name yes. to uh, Moses, for instance, mm. to the people of Israel, yes. you know, later on, later on they discovered the reason, the purpose, why the name of the Lord was yes. revealed. Yes. You re I mean, you are, a I mean you, are, you are a Bible believer. Wonders began to happen. Mm. How much more this end time you know, recently, the Lord just ministered to me that the name Jesus mm. was purposely given to the Lord because of us, mm. because of because whom of are beings. Yeah. You know, that's the revelation I just caught this week mm, in yes. the place of prayer, yeah. that the name Jesus was given, you know, uh, because of us, not because of, uh, of Jesus not as it was. You know, mm. a mm. name that could be called, a name that can be trusted, a name that could be, you know, be evoked and miracles will begin will be, will be wrought. Mm. You know, that name is not an ordinary name. You know, there is no, no other religion mm. carries such a name. Yes. The efficacy in the name of Jesus cannot be overemphasized. Mm. It's just too much for every demon. Just like in the scripture of Ephesians chapter 2, okay. uh, from verse 8. Okay. For he has been given a name yes. that is above every other name. Yes. That That's are the mention of the name Philippians of Jesus. Chapter two. Philippians yes. 2, 9. Philippians yes. 2, yes. Yes. Two yes. Nine. Every knee yes. must bow. And you know that every knee should bow. Not yes. that they may bow. Mm. If we look at scriptures, the Bible does not say that every knee may bow. No, mm. the Bible says every knee should bow. Yes. The word, there's a choice of word. Yes. Every <laughs> knee should bow mm. at the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. That name is too much. It's, you know, it's too powerful. And that's the name the Lord is giving mm. out mm. To, to all the others that we attend. Mm. That name will work wonders in their lives. Mm. That name will work wonders in their domains. Mm. That name will even work wonders in our nation, Nigeria. Amen. And Amen. beyond by the grace of God. In fact, last year, last year's convention, okay. it was massive. I was there. Okay. It was massive. Hearing testimonies from kings. Yes. That's right. Not small, small testimonies. Yes, I remember. Not, <laughs> God. <laughs> mighty, God. mighty. Come and see how God you know, have been fighting for kings in their palaces, in yes, their domains, yes. you know, mighty testimonies. Yes. And that, that is a challenge to, to you watching me right now. If your king is not part of this gathering this year, ah, it, mm -hmm. it will pain. It pains. <laughs> and uh, let me humbly, Kabesi, let me call out the Kabesi, the, the Olu of Ilaro. Yeah, please reach out to my king in Adodo. <laughs> please help me invite him, the, the, the most handsome king. I love my king. Uh, I like Very that. handsome. <laughs> Olu has been doing that. Olu has been doing that. Mm. Please, Olu of Ilaru, please reach out to my king. He must be in this program. <laughs> Adodo town. <laughs>
Thank you so much. So this this team last uh, the other year, the previous year was uh, in 2022, king. the yeah, ever reigning king, king. That's and right. that of last year, kingdom, the, power. the kingdom, the power, power and, and the glory. The glory. Yeah. And this year, the name above all. The choice of this team has been very special. Are you the one picking this team, or? You know, it, it is the doing of the Lord. As a matter mm. of fact, that's wow. the truth. It mm. is the doing of the Lord, and through our Father in the Lord, mm. you know. He will ask, you know, he's guided by the Holy Spirit. Mm. He's led to all these things. Yes. You know, it is the doing of the Lord through our Father in the Lord, mm. Pastor E. E. Adeboye, yes. by the grace of God. Glory be to God. Yes. So before we go on our break, yeah. I'd like you to speak to the kings. Okay. Uh, last year, I remember in this program, some Olori, some queens, you know, were calling us how their king could be involved and all that. So, uh, uh, king's language. You okay. know, <laughs> deep collect onto the deep. That's let me, right. uh, yeah, especially invite. Let me speak to kings, queens, uh, uh, princes, and princesses watching us right now to reach out for this program. Speak, thank you, moderator. Mm. Uh, speaking our language, the Alaya the mm. kings, and the queens, we know that the challenges in our palaces are enormous. Yes. Just like we have in Acts chapter 3 mm. the lame man at the beautiful gate. Yes. The gate was beautiful, but his life was not. Mm. Mm. And that is typical of our palaces. Because you have challenges, even with your ships, mm. you never can tell who is giving you the right or wrong advices. Mm. So you have challenges, even with your workers, you never can tell who the enemy might want to use. <laughs> mm. You have challenges, even relating with people, mm. because... The normal saying is that um, people want king to go quickly mm, so that really? they can benefit. Yes, so that the next they, person can come even in. when they pray, it is believed that the prayers are not right from within them. Mm. So given all this, the only person that we can trust, the only name that we can trust to do it for us yes. is that name that has been given above every other name. And that is why I'm believing God that your presence at this convention is very important and will help you alleviate all these challenges. Because how do you, there was a particular case that was mentioned of um, a gate man. The enemies of the king bribed him, wow. hmm? gave him money, and at the end of the day, colluded with the enemy with the intention of assassinating the king. The king was a Christian king. Wow. Mm -hmm. As he was going out, he said, I, I know what you have been doing, oh. mm. Mm -hmm. but please don't let me come and meet you. Mm. The hindsight, which only spirit can do. It's only, mm. only God. Only God, only can, God can do it. Mm. So if you are not coming for this kind of program, mm. how do you want to get yourself out of these challenges. Wow. It's only God that can do so. I want to plead with all of us, let us come here so that we can ref be refreshed and Holy Spirit can minister to us through mm. our Father and the Lord mm. and we can be guided, Amen. ready for our assignment. Amen. Thank you. All right, so let's go on this short break. We shall be back. Welcome to a platform for a robust, inspiring and engaging conversation in the world of politics and governance, business, education, and more, and concerning you as a citizen and your civic responsibilities. Watch The Citizen on Dove Television at 1 p.m. every Tuesday, West African time, and we repeat brokers every Thursday at 11 p.m. The Citizen, we are all in this together. Welcome back. Uh... Like I said earlier, the clip will still come on. It will still come on before we end the program. But this program is very, very special for all the kings of the land. You know, the theme is the name above all names. The name above all names. And that is the name of Jesus. It's coming up on the 22nd and 23rd of November. That is, uh, today is 19. That is Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Friday it's arrival, kings will be coming in, and uh, I think by 4 p.m. there will be a plenary session for them for 4 p.m., 
And on Saturday, it's a full day from 9 a.m. or thereabout, from 9 a.m., you know, kings eight, will gather. Eight, eight, 8 a.m., yeah. yes. Kings will gather, you know, start listening to the word of God, praising God together, sharing together as, as, as kings. So your king will have to be here, of course. Then I told you this program is an interactive program, so you can call us if there is any other question you want to ask, uh, comments you want to pass across concerning the Royal Father Convention, you can get across to us now. The phone line to do that uh, will be displayed on your TV screen. You can send in SMS if your, uh, if your calls are not coming through, you can send in SMS. So the Lord will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. So what should people be expecting, sir, concerning this program? What's the expectation? So if a king, for example, or an emir comes from Sokoto, for instance, from Kaduna, from uh, wherever, you know, far away from here, what will he or she, or what will he come to gain? There are she kings too, of course, the regents. I saw many of them last year. So when they come, what would they come to gain? Well, the program is uh, open to every, uh, every king mm. and their queens from all over. Yes. That's one. And number two is that uh, no one will be turned back as they come by the grace of God. Those who, are, who have not even been privileged to register before now, they can still do so. Okay. They can still do so uh, within these two, I mean, a few days remaining. Okay, they will have to register to attend. Yes, we, we register them to uh, enable us to make necessary arrangements for their accommodation and for their feeding, uh, you know. Uh, but those who have not been privileged to register mm. could still do so. And um, besides, you know, those who want to still invite others can still do so. Just like your thing you are talking about, you mm. can, you can still, we, we, we have maybe after the program, mm -hmm. remind me so that I can give you a link through which he, he can mm -hmm. register. Okay. You know, and uh, it begins on Friday. Sorry, can, can we have that link now for those who are watching us? It, it, well, it, it's, a, it's a link that you will click on your uh, on WhatsApp, you know. Okay, okay, uh, like a WhatsApp link. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. But, okay, I'm just looking at, okay, at someone who might not be able to get in touch with us, but still want to be part of this, might not have the opportunity of you know, getting to register before the program. Yeah, How can... We, I, I don't mind to give out uh, my telephone number. Okay. So I can good. be contacted after the, after the program. And okay. I will gladly send the uh, Okay, please. The link. I, I'd like you to please help me call the number. My uh, director, please help me with this number. Uh, okay, sir. Let me have the number. 080 Okay. 3475 Okay. 46 Okay. One zero. All right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, zero eight zero four three. I mean, sorry, three four seven five four six one zero. Correct. All right. So by this number, anyone who wants to register can yeah. get in touch. And uh, yeah, this number will, will be displayed on your TV screen as well uh, before the program ends. Zero eight zero three four seven five four six and one zero. Okay. So. So the program begins on mm. Friday, like I was saying. Okay. You know, at the first, uh, the first session will begin by 4 p.m. Okay. You know, and uh, it will be tr uh, for the night. Maybe by, by 9 or thereabout, okay. we'll have finished to okay. allow the, the others to go okay. and rest. Okay. okay. Then the following morning, 8 a.m. on Saturday, okay. it will commence again, mm. you know, uh, with different uh, ministrations, songs, you know, inspiring Messages. sessions. Yes. yes. And our daddy will come up again, you know, on Saturday. Mm. Not only will he minister, mm. he's going to pray with the others. Okay. He's going to bless them. Yes. And, they are, you know, I'm glad that there have been testimonies great of the testimonies. past editions. Yes. Whereby, yes. Mm. you know, God did some great and mighty things through great the one. prayers mm. of the man of God. Mm. And it, it will still be on ground mm. this time around too. Mm. And uh, not mm. only ministering to them, mm. he's going to pray for every other that comes. And every challenge, you know, God is going to of course. do great and mighty like, things. Like uh, our dear Oba said earlier, okay. you know, I remembered last year, a king that had been facing challenges among the chiefs and all that in his domain reported the case to Daddy Gio. That is what I've been facing. I need prayers and all that. And Daddy prayed for him. Mm. On the day of the convention, I think it was Friday or Saturday morning, those who have been 
afflicting him, waging war against him in his domain. Still followed him to the convention. And it was right there in the convention that their plan got foiled. It was in the program that uh, the whole plan, you know, wow. escalated and the person was arrested and that was how the king got his freedom right in the program that I was there, <laughs> you know. So you can't imagine what, what can happen, yeah, so. you know, when you are in the presence of God. A whole lot. God gives victory, you know, in, in his name. Yes. All right, so now, you know kings, sir, they are, they are very revered set of people, yeah. very honorable. So what has been put in place to ensure that you know, when kings gather for convention, it's yeah. not like when common people gather for convention. Yeah. What has been put in place to ensure their comfortability, their, their, to maintain their honorable position and all that, to make sure that their honors are not trampled? Yes, by the grace of God, number one, uh, security is of the Lord. Mm. They, ha they are coming to meet the Lord, not any man. Yes. And uh, not that alone, in our own little way, we have made arrangements to uh, get, the, uh, you know, get them secured to the glory of the Lord. Okay. And apart from that, they will be comfortably accommodated. Mm -hmm. You trust our, our mother in, in Israel, Mommy uh, Gio. You know, she has made adequate provision for them to be comfortably accommodated and to, be, I mean, to also be fed to the glory of the Lord. And uh, this she will do free of charge to, I mean, to everyone that comes from all walks of life by the grace of God. All right. So uh, th that, is, that is very lovely. And uh, the program is taking place uh, on the 20 22nd 22nd and 24th. At the uh, Youth Center uh, in yeah. the Redemption yeah, City Redemption of God. City. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you will have to travel down to Redemption City to enjoy everything. And just like uh, uh, the coordinator said, accommodation is available for everybody. In fact, uh, can I say this? Uh, even if you come as a king without registry, you said earlier that you will not turn anyone back. We will not back. turn anyone Oh, back. no. They're, they're, in my not, father's house. We will not turn any king back. Any king back. No, yes. no. Yes, I, I, can, I can be your mouth extension to tell them, <laughs> in my father's house, here at the Redemption City, there are many mansions. Many no, no, by the grace of yeah, God. Yeah, by the grace of God. Yeah, by yeah. the grace of God. Many mansions. And uh, you will be comfortably, you know, treated by the special grace of God. Should we also be expecting kings from diaspora, say, from abroad? Of course. I said it earlier on. Okay. Kings will be coming from places like uh, Cameroon, places like... Uh, uh, you, you know, Benin Republic, yeah. places like, uh, you, you know, Liberia, mm. Ghana, you know, and so on. Okay. Uh, apart from Nigeria, mm. and we, we expect them, we are, and we are trusting God that He will meet everyone at their very points of need, mm. and they will return with great testimonies Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so what have you gained so far, uh, Kabiesi, coming for this uh, program since inception? What has been your gain? <laughs> Very tremendous. Like a way of testimony. Mm -hmm. Tremendous. So, mm -hmm. Number one, there has never been a time that I had attended this program without my queen and some of my chiefs. And through that, through that, I have been able to, to bring them to Christ, most especially my chiefs. Number two, the fact that I am attending with them equally helps in evangelism at my local level. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Because those that came and have their miracles have returned back home to join in evangelism. Okay. The thought is the fact that each time I come, mm -hmm. I always have testimonies. Amen. Wow. And you know, the Bible says that we overcome by the, the blood, blood, of blood of the lamp and, and word of our testimony. testimony. So it has always been awesome. Mm -hmm. And as such, people have asked me, Kabesi, when are we having it? Mm. We are following you. I said, please, you are, you are all. So it's been awesome. And wow. I know that as many that will come, we call it experience greater testimonies in Jesus. Amen. Okay. Before we go on the break to, to listen to the uh, video clip for the convention, uh, let me ask you this as well. You are a Christian king, a pastor, and you've been coming for this program year after year. What has it translated to in your domain? Have you been enjoying unprecedented peace? Have you been seeing the hand of God? Has God been moving in your domain in a way that those who are watching us right now can say, ah, 
it's like we also need this God in our domain. Well, um, there was a Thanksgiving we did after the last convention that the mission sent representatives. Okay. Those that came attested to the fact that through the testimony and what God is doing, doing in our kingdom, yes. my people have had a change of mind yeah. to the extent that I have observed with keen interest that the number of people coming from my domain okay. to our programs at the camp have increased wow. tremendously. Amen. Number two that I've observed is that all our, we normally have yearly program mm. and other programs for the community for prayer oversubscribed. Mm. So and that prayer. goes to extent to saying that yeah. hmm, people are seeing the hands of God Amen. in what we are doing. Mm. And of course, they are actually aligning with Christ mm. in our lives. Hallelujah. That, that, that's, that's good. All right. So with the little time we have, I would like our producer to please help us with that clip right now as we go on the break. So by the time we come back from that break, we will be tidying up, then looking at the uh, situation of things in the country that we must not turn a deaf ear to or we must not pretend as if it's not happening and see what God can do for us. You know, to the glory of his holy name. Let's go on a very short break, and uh, we shall be back to actually continue. Then it will be a uh, home drive by the time we return. Stay tuned with us. of the year again when sons of the throne fathers of the land chiefs and royalties gather hand in hand seeking divine guardians wisdom and might for kingdom and people royal fathers and kings of kingdoms uniting in faith under god's crown at the annual royal fathers convention 2024 with the theme the name above all the names coming up on 22nd and 23rd November 2024 at the Jude Center, How CCG Redemption City of God, Ogun State. Time is 4 p.m. on Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday. Ministry is Pastor E.A. at Deboe. The Royal Fathers Convention 2024, powered by the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Welcome back. Uh, thank you, my producer. And uh, at least part of what you might need to know as concerning that convention, you've heard from that uh, promo there, you know, talking about the Royal Fathers Convention for this year, 2024, coming up on the 22nd and 23rd of November, Friday and Saturday, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, 4 p.m. and 8 a.m. respectively. So make sure your king, please tell your king, tell your emir, Tell them, let them come. Uh, would there be room for interpretation in case, for example, there might be some kings, some emirs, some rulers who might not understand English, or especially those from probably from Togo, uh, francophone. Uh, yeah, from francophone countries. I know some of them were around last year. So how about interpretation? Yes, we have arrangement for that. Okay. There are, uh, for instance, uh, I still met the interpreter yesterday. Okay. You know, somebody who holds a master's degree in French. Okay. Will Good. be interpreting life and direct Good. to the others that don't speak uh, English. Okay. Good. And for other languages too, we have interpreters. On, I mean, already waiting for them by the Good. grace of God. Good. Good. Everybody will be will be reached fully. All right. The glory of God. All right. All right. So please, all our uh, uh, pastors across the land. This is a program. This is our program. You know, I'm, I'm always very passionate about this, uh, you know, King's Convention. Very, very lovely. Mm -hmm. When you see King, you can see in the, in the uh, clip we played earlier, see their zeal, dancing, singing. They have their choir group. You are in the choir. Yes. So how do you react? Wow. <laughs> it's a time, a time with the Lord is like no other time. Wow. That's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we are always looking forward to it. Wow. That's we, lovely. We know what happened to... David, hmm. when he never considered the fact that he was a king yes. and was dancing to, the, yes. to God. Yes, yes. 
You know the aftermath. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And, and your, you know what follow praises and worships. Your subjects yeah. are not like being disappointed. At, See the way my king is dancing. Look at my, that I'm doing that for my God. <laughs> my king. <laughs> my the king person that made to... me triumph. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will do that over and over again. Hallelujah. I like that. <laughs> Glory be to God. Man, wow, that, that's, that's lovely. So please, uh, pastors, reach out to your domain or parish, your, your province, your zone, your wherever. Reach out to kings where your parish is domiciled, let them be part of this program. It's for all of us, all the kings, all the rulers, chiefs in, in town, cities, and villages, let them come. Sorry, maybe be I should add this. Okay. That it is, it's a program for everyone, not only for members of the redeemed Christian yes, Church of God. Yes. It is interdenominational. Mm, mm, yes. We are not coming to discuss religion. Mm. We are coming to discuss and to examine God's word on how you will prosper, yes. not only spiritually, every aspect. In fact, there will be an hair talk, you know, to let oh, you know. Good. Total being, you know, mm. total, you know, it's going to be wonderful. Mm. Wow. It's going to be wonderful. Hallelujah. Nobody can afford to miss mm. it. Wow. Mm. Okay, so as we drive up this program, let's look at the current situation of things in the country. You know, I always talk about that in this pro on this program, the citizen. Because um, a whole lot is happening, sir. Yes. Uh, I heard today a bag of rice, 50 kg of rice, is about 80 something. And December is not here yet. Christmas is not here yet. Mm. You know, feeding these days has been by God's grace. And we have, you know, you have subjects, you have people under you. I'm sure some of them probably might be knocking your gates every now and then for support. And in church too, we do that, CSR and all that. But uh, what do you have to say to the government and to the people as concerning the situation of things in the country? Well, the situation of things in the country, no doubt, has been challenging. But yeah. you will agree with me that for anything to come out well, mm -hmm. hmm, it must first decay. For instance, if you want wish to plant plant uh, okay. maize now, okay. you put about three of the seeds down, mm -hmm it will decay yes. and, of course, come up. I think that's the situation that we have found ourselves in this nation. Okay. So my appeal to government is to still be sensitive to people's pain and ensure that they have plans and policies within the frame time of, within, within a short period okay. that could relieve people's suffering mm. Mm, by ensuring that they subsidize food materials, yeah. most especially during Christmas period. Mm. But one thing as an economist okay. that I can tell people is that um, the government is on the right course. Oh. On you are saying this as, as an economist? As an economist. You are not saying it as a government spokesperson? No. <laughs> because uh, our people on social media, they will start dragging you right now. I will? I, I think... Okay, I, well, I have okay. a PhD in economics. Okay. So I have an authority it's in an that authority field. That to uh, talk very about. Good. There are things we have to... Yeah, the, yeah. This bad before it can be better. Obviously, yes. And it will still be better. It will still be better. I'm, mm. I'm more than convinced. Mm. And what, what, what do you take our prayers for? Most especially the prayer of our Father and the Lord yeah. over this country. For instance, there were calculations we did, analysis, some days ago, and we were projecting that on the base of our knowledge, mm. that dollar will rise. Mm -hmm. the dollar prayer, or naira. Um, dollar will rise against Naira okay. in recent times. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Given various data that we have received. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we extrapolate and we decided. But you could see the place of prayer mm. Mm -hmm. that God is really taking over. Oh, you are saying this now. I would like you to repeat this because this is what Daddy Gio said. And some people are making issues. That Daddy said, if not for God, for prayer, for God, that dollar will have been like a, a, like a 10,000 naira to naira. I mean, 10,000 naira to a dollar. See, the, that the geo's position was perfect. Mm. Let me tell you, by my knowledge of economics, currency of a nation will continue to fall mm. if it's not engaged in production, most especially export-based production. And you know Nigeria is not doing that. So where do we have the stability that we have in recent times, if not for prayer. Hmm. It's prayer. Nigeria is about the only country in the world that we have had 
stability in our Naira, in our exchange rates, okay. in the last two months without relatively high production, most especially the export-based production. Mm, that must be a miracle. It's a miracle. So for those saying, <laughs> we know. And that was what I was telling you, that we were, I was one of those that projected. Mm. Mm? But when it's not happening, I know that definitely God is answering our prayers. Hallelujah. So, mm. Daddy was right. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, Oba. We really appreciate <laughs> yes, it. So, Daddy, a uh, closing shot from you. Like a parting shot. Yeah. You know, how do you conclude? Now, my advice, my mm. encouragement is that mm. every Oba should ensure that they come for this year's convention yes. because it promises to be great. Mm. You know, like I told you, our daddy is not supposed to be here now, but mm. he decided to make sure it's oh, available. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Great words will be released. Amen. Prayers will be said. Amen. And yes. apart from that, there will be miracles here and there. Amen. But besides that, I believe it's going to be a time that the entire nation will know for good mm. by yes. the grace of God. And that's why I encourage everyone, you know, over there as they hear me, let them encourage their others. Mm. You know, their kings, their aces, their, you know, emmas obese. from all over, obese. the obese from all over. Let them encourage them to come for this program. You know, good enough, it is free of charge. Yes. You know, yes. No, no, no fees being no payments. It's charged. It's free. You yes. know, it's free by the grace you of God. You are not buying food. You are not buying anything. Yes. Except if you see what you like and you want to buy. I right. tell you. I tell you. <laughs> you know, so we encourage everyone to be in mm. attendance. Mm. And uh, not, that, not, not that alone. Let them you know, get ready for their turnaround. Amen. It, Amen. The, our season of major turnaround is come. Amen. When the efficacy, when the glory and the power in the name of Jesus Christ will begin to work wonders, Amen. not only for individuals, Amen. but for our entire nation. Amen. Amen. God Jesus bless name. you. Thank you so much, Thank you so uh, much Pastor Adeye. We Thank appreciate you, sir. sir. My king, God yes. bless you, sir. Ki ade pe lori. Ki bata pe lese. Amen. Ki un kere di abere. Amen. Ki e shin oba joko pe. Amen. O ni kono to mangba. O lori ye ki. O lori si shebi. O lori ya si shebi. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You might not need to understand that one. Is uh, greeting to the king. <laughs> My name is Mike Adekuli. On behalf of the production crew, I want to say thank you to, to you for being part of this. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I look forward to seeing your king at this year's Royal Fathers Convention yes, on the 22nd and 24th of November. God bless you. Coming weekend. Yes, this, 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 weekend. this weekend. Yes, yes. Okay, see you some other time later. Bye. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>